Hi guys, so today we're gonna to go over sight glasses. So we're gonna go over just a basic, when I first started, okay, here's the story of how I started. They gave me a week of training and then they put me on heat start PMs. And then after I did heat for three months, they said, you see that rack over there? Go work on it. And I said, I've only done heat. And they said, great, there's a hot water heater, you know, as part of the rack, you know, it has hot water reclaim. You'll be right at home. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I did it. So this video is meant to be just a general like, hey, this is how sight glasses look. This is what a flashing sight glass looks like. And I'm going to bounce back and forth between sight glasses and receivers and showing receiver levels and surge tank levels and kind of telling this is how you tell if a receiver is low. This is how you tell if a sight glass is flashing. And uh, it's mainly just to show that. Now, there are lots of other techniques on evaluating on whether or not a rack is low on gas. This is not an extensive video on checking if your rack is low on gas. I have another video that can help you. I'll, I'll link it below. And that one is also not super extensive. Like, it doesn't go into, like... Like if you're low on gas, you'll typically have low suction pressure um, and low head pressure if you're really low. Um, so like low suction, low head, no nothing in the receiver um, and a flashing sight glass, you know, and temping cases that are temping warm, you know, trends in cases, you know, and then you probably have low refrigerant. But this one is just a quick video showing the sight glasses, showing the different kinds of sight glasses, what is even meant by a flashing sight glass. And I just want to preference it with that because, you know, as you guys have probably noticed, my video is becoming longer and more in depth and I'm trying to escalate the quality of my content for you guys. But I also have to balance that, you know, perfect is the enemy of the good. So I'm trying to get videos out to you at least once a month of a decent quality video for you guys to learn. Um, and so this is just my video I thought I would do because, you know, I don't have as much time as I used to, uh, to, you know, necessarily put out these videos. But anyway, let's get started. I hope that clears it up. We're going to go over multiple examples of sight glasses and what constitutes a flashing sight glass. So flashing sight glass example number one, right? And then you can also look down in here, it's, it's hot in the sea, but you can see that looks like a raging river. And that one looks like, you know, bubbling. And then you could come over here to your receiver, this tank, in this case, it's a surge tank. And you look and that last ball is not floating there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Right in there, there's a little ball at the bottom. So this is another example, very similar to the last one, but you can see it's just kind of bubbling just a little bit at the top. Again, that's, that's a leak, and that's low refrigerant. And we're gonna come over here to this sight glass right here, and you can see again, it raging like a river, okay? And then again, obviously check your receiver, or your, in this case, surge tank, make sure that it, you know, it doesn't have refrigerant in it, because then if it does have refrigerant in it, you got another issue. Just to show you here, this is a clear sight glass. As you can see, it is just, you know, clear you know no cracks no river flowing no nothing just clear good to go let's try turning off the lights see how that now that's terrible um but you can just see and if you look really deep in there sometimes you can see just like the littlest bit like you can tell that there's a liquid in there but it looks clear as glass so that means we have a full column of refrigerant running up in this pipe so worth noting the angle at which this comes off is important. When it's on the pipe like so, at this horizontal jutting out on a vertical, you're almost always gonna have a clear looking like this. When it's on top like this, and I'll try to find an example in my travels, you know, maybe my next store or something will have that. It'll actually look completely different. It'll almost look like you're looking down and you want that pipe to be full. And I'll show you in a, in a couple. Also in this video, I figured I would put, you see right there, that is a flat rack. You see how it's not at zero? If it's at zero, you have something in your receiver. When it's all the way straight down, that is when you're, you're done. You're just absolutely flat. So we're gonna take a look at the other one. I'm pretty sure that one has a little bit in it. You see right here? 
This one's obviously full here. Well, adequate, you know, 30% receiver level. So, so here's another example of a flashing sight glass. You see that one's white, blowing like a turret. Okay, obviously flashing sight glass here. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. Come down here and take a look. The surge tank is empty as well. You can see that that ball is not floating. So anyway, that's another example. So this is a really good example here. Is this sight glass flashing? Yes. But is this rack empty? The answer is no. We'll come down here, you can see. Ball floating in the surge tank. You can see up here the ball's down low, so there's at least one ball floating. So why is it flashing? Well, sometimes it flashes at high load conditions. So for example, we go over to our controller here, right? We'll be able to see, we'll go to rack A, we'll actually see that this grocery freezer actually just came right out of defrost so it is rushing refrigerant to that grocery freezer desperately trying to cool it off and grocery freezers are huge which is causing it to flash not low on refrigerant just a high load condition so just to show some other signs i'm familiar with with this rack is uh we have a low uh head pressure and uh the suction is already satisfied uh, everything's trending warm and then this is actually very warm so what, what happens is when there's not enough refrigerant it actually tries to so it shuts off the fans to keep the head pressure up so it drives the temperature of this liquid line warmer so when I come in here not only do I know that that sight glass is flashing and I can tell with those little little itty bitty rain beads but there's these other signs such as low head pressure, uh, trending warm, and then this line is actually at almost the temperature of a discharge. Not quite the temperature of a discharge, but it's really warm because like I said, it turns off the fan to, to try to raise up the head pressure. All right, we're gonna go and take a look at another sight glass for today. Here's another one, and you can see that it's flashing. Because you can see, if you look right there, you can see there's just, you see how there's like a little bit of liquid right there, and then you can see way in there, you can see like a little bit of liquid cooling on there. So that's all the liquid in the entire thing. Other than that, it looks clear, right? That looks like a perfectly clear sight glass, where if you have a fine trained eye, you can see that little bit, like a raindrop of liquid. You can see it right on there. So. This is actually, this, this rack is actually completely flat. And I can also, and um, so unfortunately though, uh, you know, this rack's a bit older. So the surge tank actually, so this surge tank has balls in it. This one actually doesn't have any way to look at it. So we're gonna have to kind of look at it on the controller and uh, kind of go with what the pressures are and whatnot so if we go to the controller over here um, and we can just kind of see that all right well if we look at everything is trending warm um, it's been in and out of alarms all day I can see those those uh, little drops the suction pressure is satisfied but everything's kind of warm and there's only one compressor that's needed currently to make that suction pressure satisfied so you know there's a couple signs it's not super clear-cut signs what's going on but I know this store well enough that I just thought it would worth showing that little uh, so right there you can see a little bead and you can see it down there just kind of popping over so that's just you know basically pure discharge there's not enough liquid to condense not enough refrigerant to condense down so you know I'm gonna have to fill up this rack and uh, you know move forward with it so I added some stuff back to the rack and now we can see this sight glass is flashing and filling up pretty good. Now, so that's the end of the video. I hope you learned a thing or two about a thing or two. Um, so, you know, those are just some different kind of flight glasses and all that good stuff. Anyway, I hope that that was helpful. 
Uh, please leave comments below on maybe your evaluation of low gas and all that good stuff. I would love to have a good comment section for people to learn from. And uh, thanks for watching, and that's how you do it.